Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great September. I've been loving the flow into the newness of October. Today is October 4th. I hope you guys enjoy everything of this month to come because boo! <laughs> I'm too much of a goofball. I love the month of October. It's one of my favorite months. I love Halloween. And today we're gonna do a get ready with me. So ladies and gents, if you get ready for the day, come get ready with me. Welcome to the Amanda Miller Show. I'm so happy you came to see me glow. Now watch out, I'm gonna teach some things You gonna make sure you listen to me I don't pretend I speak beautiful truth And I love things that are all me Welcome to the Amanda Miller Show all right, ladies, I love how I kicked off my last Get Ready With Me. It was so pure, authentic Amanda that I just want to keep going. So before I jump into my makeup, I'm gonna give you guys some more lovely inspiration for the beginning of the new month. It's so needed We, as women and beautiful men. We need new freshness, excitement, motivation, inspiration. And this is everything that I like to provide and give because this is exactly my life. I just haven't really like come out and learned how to manifest it out to help one myself and to you guys. So always follow your authentic love, your authentic feet. It's everything that can fuel you forward for your growth and I hope I'm a good example of exactly that. So when I talked with my spirit team, two cards came out and I'm going to show the overall card here. So the first card that came out is card number two, Antelope Spirit. Life is speeding up. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but this card right here definitely confirmed a lot for me on my ends and my relationship. Um, if you guys are feeling that energy, comment below because I would love to know. And it was just a really good reflection piece on understanding when there is slowness and reflection that's needed because I, I know I like needed to focus on that last month and it's amazing how things get congealed and worked with um, and you see it reflect in your family. When antelope spirit rushes into your life, you are being reminded of the quickening of your personal evolution. You are being told unequivocally that it is time to get moving, set your intentions and take action toward making your dreams real. There is an intensity you can feel and it is important to take advantage of this energy right now. If you have a plan for your career or financial abundance, now is the time to step it up. If you are t asking about a relationship, make that first move. Just know that the intentions you have set in motion are coming together at warp speed. Stay alert and keep up. Things are getting interesting when antelope spirit calls you to move quickly. All right, ladies, I'm going into my makeup now. So now let's talk about antelope spirit. I'm gonna fo first go in with my Derma E anti-wrinkle treatment oil. This contains rosehip and grapeseed oils, vitamin A and vitamin E. I am going to apply about two, three drops and I'm gonna do it right direct on my cheeks. forehead all right so ladies antelope spirit is talking about life is speeding up and you need to set your intentions if you've got career moves if you've got financial moves 
the time is now to set those intentions for if you've got just got vision boards i've got a vision board um spirit and the divine are saying the time is now jump in go get it just be patient and making sure that you're doing that those steps and not doing it with ego do it with soul and heart okay because your emotions are everything when you're connected with manifestation and moving forward. Okay. Derma E oil is on. I'm going to push that back to the back of my hands here. Ah, beautiful. All right. Next, I'm going to go in with Elf's Brow Lift. I love this stuff so much. I also like the way that it sets my brows. I've got my three times mirror. Let's go ahead and get those a did. And guys, let me know if you guys down, went down a brow rabbit hole. Um, I want to dive more into my brows too. But I ain't looking for fancy. I'm just looking for put it together. Okay, I love it. I like how quick it is. I'm just gonna plaster those down. And man, they've grown and I don't care. I love them. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Plasted. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. I got my eyebrows on, ladies. And now we're going to move into the second card from the beautiful divine, from beautiful God, what they want us to know. Number 54, skunk spirit. Know your true self worth. What do you value? What do you believe in? Is it your best, most authentic self on display? Skunk spirit comes as a reminder that you can be proud of who you are and what you have accomplished. Know your worth. Not everyone will agree with you or share your values, but you can walk with your head high knowing that when you express your integrity, others can feel your authenticity and will be inspired by it. Be who you are, and if your reputation precedes you, good. You have so much to be proud of, and Skunk Spirit wants you to be your best self, the true you. Oh. I love this card very much because with this coming out, this needs to be a reminder to some of us that got ungrounded due to certain seasons, certain pushes, and you need to figure out what does your identical self, your identity self value? Do you value money over love? Do you value love over money? Do you value having things for yourself and not others? Looking at that for self is a really, really good tap in for knowing self and knowing your heart and your soul. Cause your soul has a color. Mine's pink. <laughs> huh? You know, knowing your worth, setting your intentions, knowing what you need is very, very key. And I've kind of learned and observed in this country of America that we have a very big lack of identity of self and i'm really not sure where that properly comes from it also it might stem from when we all get plugged into first grade we're all being treated as a green circle 
and that's completely not what everybody is. So I want you to take those remembrance pieces if you're feeling any of that of what I'm saying today. Go ahead and tap in back to your little old self when you were four, when you were five, when you were six, before the matrix got to the heart and the brain. This is the big, big, big key for your love to go vibrating out because once you know yourself, you're able to stand firm on your own two feet in your own identity. So I hope that helps you ladies. Let's go into some blush. I'm choosing to do Elf's blush in the color Twinkle Pink. I love this color so, so much. It's very a peachy pink with some gold shimmers. And I've been really loving this mixture of putting my Derma E oil on. And I'm going to just tap this on the way I want it. I'm gonna do three swatches. I'm going to let it sit and work on the other side and then grab my mirror. Let me know in your life, ladies, since, you know, I feel like we've done makeup since, you know, 12. Um, let me know, ladies, in the comments below, how has your makeup journey evolved? What have you learned to like, dislike about that industry? We could really start up some conversation. Let me go ahead and blend this in. I'm so excited for the month of October, guys. We already have our family. We know what we are for Halloween. I'm not gonna say it because it's gonna spoil it. Um, so many school activities today, or this month, excuse me. Also, let me know, guys, on what you think about some of this um, TV stuff. Uh, one of my favorite shows, I've, I've followed wrestling for a while, and then I followed the Bellas, um, Brie and Nikki Bella, and now their like, stuff is off of Hulu, and it's moved over to Peacock, and Peacock's not free anymore, and it's just... I mean, I'll be honest, guys, it's like, it's nice to watch TV, but it's very annoying when you have something that you love. Like, for example, when Office left Netflix, like, I'm sure I'm not the only one where that upset people. <laughs> but I just don't like this whole, like, I understand, like, copyrighted things, but it's like, can we all just <laughs> make an agreement to all be happy? and not be so like, no, this is mine. Like, why? Why? Anyway, look at how super cute. That just mixes with your finger, mixes with the oil. I don't know, I've been digging that so much. All right, so I'm gonna go in with CoverGirl's Clean Fresh Skin Milk with coconut milk and aloe extract in the color 540 light. I really enjoy this. I'm going to apply this to the back of my hand. This stuff is pretty liquidy and it's buildable, which I like. And I like the essence of, I just need a little seamlessness. So I'm gonna put that all on the bottom. I'm going around my blush. I'm doing something different that I wanted to try and like only hit this where I just need it because I don't really need it everywhere. I just want some seamlessness. If that makes any sense. Okay. Let's check the Mia's. Let's check the Mia's. There's just something about the skin milk that 
is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, skin milk on. <laughs> I'm so cute. I'm now going to be going in with Benefits They're Real with also a disposable spoolie. I've been doing my best to really work with this mascara. It's not my favorite but I have it and I want to use it up. I'm going to do a couple of stamps. Okay. All right, now when I'm gonna show you how I brush and fan these out. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to read again the overall because we got this um, Peacock Spirit number 46, Let It Shine as the third and it was the bottom of the deck. Let's brush, brush, brush these out. Brush, brush, brush these out. Peacock Spirit, let it shine. When is the last time you shook a tail feather and shined your light for all to see? Within each of us is a peacock spirit yearning for expression and you are called now to show the world the gorgeous creature you are for you are a manifestation of spirit. Come out from the shadows, peacock, peacock spirit says, and show your true colors so that others may be inspired to express their own exquisiteness. Dance as if you remember how you were made of stardust and grace, filled with life force energy and sparkling light. You are a channel for divine love and your dance is one of a kind. Catch the light and help it to shimmer and dance in celebration of your good fortune of being right here, right now. Spirit wants you to be joyful so that others may get up and dance along with you. Beautiful, always shine your light. It can always be scary because you're alone with it. I want to share and be an inspiration, safe place to you guys on as me as an, as an example, I'm shining in my light. I know I have traumatic dark in my past. I'm not letting that bog me down at any point in my life anymore. If it, if any unhealed dark comes out, things that never got talked about or communicated, I journal and write it out, heal it out, give it to God, and then boom, I show up the way I like to, the way I want to, and. I'm a mama. I want to be able to provide good things for my son to make sure that he's going to be able to carry on these big tools once he becomes a father. Oh. <laughs> All right, ladies. My makeup's on. I'm going to spritz myself with some of YSL's Libre. I've been loving the scent so much all right before i close things off and you guys run off to your day i'm also adding a new deck for some scripture love in case i've got some people here that follow god like i do and want a little bit more food for thought food for the emotions and it's coming from this cute little scripture deck so this one's from isaiah 6 3 Heaven and earth are full of his glory. Above him stood the seraphim. Each had six wings. With two he covered his face. And with two he covered his feet. And with two he flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of your glory. And I love that so much. So if that is enough food for thought for you guys, uh, whenever you get to 
stand and continue and you're trying to just be authentic and vulnerable and be in your light, remember God is doing that with you and the whole earth is covered in his glory and you can be safe in that. So I want to help any of you women, especially in this country of America, it can be so cutthroat and mean and I don't like how it comes out in this country. I want to share um, for you beautiful women and men that watch me, this is not how I lead. This is not how I choose to lead. I choose to lead in love. That is the only way I choose to lead. How am I going to help myself and others if I'm not properly loving myself, right? Right. If I want change in the world, I have to change first and then I need to show up in that change for you guys. So I hope that is all the inspiration you need for the month of October. I love you guys. I've got errands to run and more videos to create. Love you. Bye.